Hello and welcome back. Today we are talking about the basic trigonometric functions and how to use these functions in order to find the missing side of a triangle. So let's get started. The first problem states Gertie the gopher is looking at a tree that is 100 feet away from her nest. If the angle of elevation between Gertie's nest and the top of the tree is 23 degrees, how tall is the tree? Okay, well, I've drawn a diagram of this problem, and I suggest that every time you see something like this, you try to actually draw uh, what's going on and place all the values where, where you can place them before you get started. So down at the bottom of the screen we have Gertie on the ground a um, hundred feet away from this tree um, and uh, Gertie is it says the angle of elevation so that means that uh, she's looking up at the tree and we want to figure out how tall that tree is based upon the fact that we know that the angle she's looking at is 23 degrees and she's a hundred feet away so, when we're talking about right triangle trigonometry, uh, the basic functions are otherwise known as uh, SOHCAHTOA. Um, and this basically means that sine of an angle is the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. The cosine of any angle is the ratio of the adjacent side on that triangle to the hypotenuse. And the tan ratio is... Uh, the opposite side of that triangle um, over the adjacent. So basically we need to know which one of these to use. We have a 23 degree angle and we have the side opposite and the side uh, that's right next to that angle so that seems like opposite and adjacent and that would be the tan function. So let's get started by writing tan of 23 degrees um, equals uh, x over 100. Okay, we need to isolate our x and so we're going to multiply both sides by 100. Uh, the 100's are going to cancel out on the right hand side and on the left you're going to be left with 100 times tan uh, of a 23 degree angle and I'm going to re rewrite that is tan 23 times 100 and it all equals x. Okay, so now we have the variable isolated we just need to do some simple calculations in order to figure out how many feet the tree is. Okay, so on your calculator and before we put anything in I want you to click on the mode button and make sure that you're in degree mode. You can see right now I am actually in radian. So I'm going to click down and over to the right. Click enter. Now I'm in degree mode. I can click second and quit to get out of that menu. So I'm just going to go to the tan button which is in the middle of the calculator to the right. Tan 23 and close the parentheses times 100 enter 42.447 so our answer to uh, how tall the tree is is 42.4 feet. And that's it. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, an airplane is 30,000 feet off of the ground when it begins to approach the runway. 
how far is the plane from the runway if the pilot lowers the nose at an angle of depression of 12 degrees to meet the runway okay so let's look at our diagram we have to the left a plane up in the air 30,000 feet in the air to the far right we have the runway at the airport which is on the ground okay so this makes a right triangle there is um there's a right angle from the plane to the ground to the runway it's coming at the runway at a 78 degree angle and what they want to know is you see this long line right here that's the path it is taking it's taking the path along the hypotenuse of the triangle and so we need to find X in order to find out how many feet the plane is away from the runway so since we have the hypotenuse labeled as X and we have the adjacent side of the angle labeled as 30,000 feet which of the trigonometric uh, ratios functions might we be able to use in order to get the answer to this problem well I'm seeing that the only function that allows us to use the hypotenuse and the adjacent is the cosine function cosine ratio equals adjacent over hypotenuse so if we use that one we should be able to find the value of our missing sign so we are going to start out by writing the cosine of that's a 78 degree angle where the plane is at as it's headed down now cosine of 78 equals and what does it say the adjacent side which is 30,000 feet over the hypotenuse which is X alright so how are we going to isolate this X well the best way for us to do this is to multiply X times both sides of uh, multiply X times both sides so what's going to happen is you are going to get um, X times cosine of 78 degrees equals 30,000 am I running out of room <laughs> okay so we're still not done yet and this basically it looks kind of like something you would see in algebra right now so we're just going to divide everything by the cosine of 78 and on the left hand side that should cancel out and leave us with just X so I want you to turn on your calculator so that we can uh, figure out what uh, what the answer between 30,000 divided by the cosine of 78 okay click mode and make sure you're in degree mode second and quit to get out of that menu and the cosine button is right smack dab in the middle of your calculator between sine and tan so what we're going to do is we're going to put 30,000 divided by cosine 7 8 there's no need to put a degree sign here because we've already taken care of that in the other menu close the parentheses press enter we have one four four two nine two so it looks like our uh, plane on its way to the runway is going to be traveling a hundred and forty four thousand two hundred ninety two feet And there you have it. That's it. Well, I hope you learned something today. Um, do some more of these. And 
it'll just be like second nature to you. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.